our philosophy is that we should reinstate our network uh, in terms of uh, the number of destinations which we offer. So we do expect to be back to roughly 90 to 95 percent of all the destinations we were flying to prior to COVID. However, we must say there's going to be less capacity, so the frequency levels will si be significantly lower as compared to the situation in uh, 2019. But again, we see traffic coming back, and there, especially to Asia, some s very specific segments on the marine traffic or people visiting friends and relatives, which are slowly, slowly coming back into our aircraft. You say that you expect the recovery to be uneven and it's really predicated on vaccinations. How long do you see before uh, we return to a state of normality where things were like uh, 2019? I note that you also say that a vaccine passport is key to this as well. Yeah, I think we cannot not answer that in a, in a very general way. It's going to be very different region by region. And if we see today where, for example, the US domestic market is and the speed of recovery of that market, we hope that within Europe we'll see a similar trend in the next couple of months when the vaccination levels are coming up. Um, and then hopefully the, the US European sort of travel can restart. After that, it's going to be Asia. And clearly, we do expect that the Europe Asia part will be slower than some of the other recoveries, given the very tight regimes in some of the, uh, of the countries when it comes to quarantines or other uh, measures for inbound travel. Peter, it's Hadley in Abu Dhabi. It's great to have you on the program. Thanks so much. Um, I want to follow up on those new routes that you've been discussing, one to Saudi Arabia in particular. How do you see the growth in the Middle East? Obviously, um, between Israel and the UAE, for example, also Saudi Arabia, major vaccination drives. And it seems to me, um, living here and working here and traveling now once again, people are ready to get on the road. Yeah, well, you, you're absolutely right. Uh, vaccination is going to be the key uh, towards recovery. And as I, as I see it now, we saw it, it, it first in the U.S. domestic. We see now vaccination rates in, uh, in Europe coming up as well. The Middle East and many of the countries in the Middle East have done a, a, a big step forward in terms of vaccination levels. That's why, indeed, we're, we're expanding and we're adding a destination like Riyadh into the Middle East. And we see traffic coming back to uh, to to more reasonable numbers than we have seen before.